So yesterday in Atlanta um, at World Changers Church International, uh, Rich Homie Kwan's Celebration of Life went down, Mm -hmm. um, which included a, 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 a... huge amount of fans um it's his family it was a free celebration they did open it up to the fans because they said you know without the fans he would have been nothing mm-hmm. um and it, w- it was sold out there were three viewings that were sold out um but during the celebration his family spoke his dad got up and spoke about how Kwan was not just his son it was his best friend as well too but dc young fly who was really close friends uh which with rich homie Kwan, got up and spoke directly to the family but to everybody listen let's take a listen to dc Pastor, I ain't gonna be long. I see it on your face. You like, what I'm here for? First off, we want to say God is the greatest. All right. Mother, y'all gave us an icon. Y'all gave us a legend. You know, we all on borrowed time. So the things that he accomplished while he was here, we want to let y'all know that we're going to continue on his legacy. It's not why is this happening, not why is this happening to me? No, we have to ask God, what is the purpose? Mm. What is the lesson? Mm. Just read the book of Job. He took everything from Job. He kept snatching everything from Job. And Job, like every Christian that, you know, everybody like, you know, I put so much good into the world. Why so much bad coming to me? Why he doing this to me? God looked at him and said, who are you talking to? Why not you? This is the time for you to praise my name. This is the time for you to tell the other people through the midst of pain. I'm the one that's giving you the strength. Boo. Go ahead, DC. Talk mm-hmm. that talk. Yeah, absolutely. Drop on the clues bombs for DC. Young fly. Talking that talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. And I watched the full, uh, the, like the full, <clears throat> uh, watched th- this in full of DC. And he talked to Rich Homie Kwan's mom just about um, just her spirit and her demeanor right mm-hmm. now. And how some people basically say to her, like, how are you, I guess, so up in spirits? Or just mm-hmm. she's, from what it seemed like, it's like she's doing okay despite the situation. And he was saying that, like, don't allow people to get in your head because it that's nothing but basically God. Like, mm-hmm. and, and that's. That's your, you're supposed to be an example of like what God can do in the midst of turmoil. So, yeah, I watched it, that yesterday too. And you know, it's interesting because um, I guess it's hard to, to feel this and grasp this when somebody passes away because, you know, we like, we like to say things don't happen to us, they, they happen for us. Yeah. It's just hard to feel like that when somebody you love passes away. But yeah. DC is right. There is a lesson to be learned. And he, yeah. he's, he's going through that currently, personally, mm-hmm. with, the, you know, the loss of his girlfriend and the mother of his kids. So, I, you know, I thought the message was. Uh, it was great. Um, yeah, salute to DC. I see Killer Mike spoke as well, right? Yes. Um, there were t- there was a lot of people mm-hmm. there. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, of course, rightfully so, it's Rich Homie Kwan, but there was a lot of people there. Um, so rest in peace to him. And um, I, I'm sure the family is, is appreciative of all the support. They also received letters from uh, Vice President Kamala Harris and mm-hmm. Joe Biden as well, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did so, he get to the, the key to the city or did he get his day yesterday? He got a day yesterday yeah. as well, too. So it was just like a big day of like, let's honor him. And the fans are there. The life, family right? is there. Celebration of his Man, life. Joe Biden don't know who no rich homie Kwan is. You don't think he want? Uh, uh, you don't think Joe Biden hit that? Oh, he, he can't even move that fast. If, it, Joe Biden hitting the Kwan, if Joe Biden hitting the Kwan, it's because something wrong with his hip. <laughs> <laughs> he not meaning to do it. He just trying to walk fast so it look like he's doing it. It's not the thought that counts, though, in a situation like this. Yes, Yes, it is. I guess. Now, hopefully, he's actually the one who thought about it because I can't even think of <laughs> him. Joe Biden. He didn't think about it much in a while. Not, okay. not, not at all. Move. Yeah. He still so, got on Trump's hat. Up next, um, Cardi B. So Cardi B and Offset um, are currently being sued. Uh, they're being sued by the owner of the home that Cardi B shot the like what video in. This is a home um, in Beverly Hills, and the homeowner is basically saying that because uh, off, Offset, Cardi, and team and their putting Offset in this because Offset directed the video. Mm-hmm. Um, because their team knew that they would have to pay a lot of money for the house because this is, I guess, like a popular house like Justin Bieber has shot there before, uh, Logan Paul has shot there before. Uh, they reached out to this homeowner, allegedly, according to the homeowner, and said, oh, we just want to do like a quick little TikTok video. But then it developed into way more than that. Um, and based on the information that the homeowner provided in the suit, uh, they said that they let them use the property, which was uh, previously rented out by these stars, for basically free, uh, foregoing their usual short-term rental fee. Um, the owner says that had he had known uh, the truth that this was going to be a real music video, he would have not have ra- waived the rental cost. Now, um, the the home is featured in the like what music video as I mentioned. Um, it's been uploaded on YouTube. It's o- over 27 million views in six months. And I'm sure that the homeowner is going to use this to say they made money off of this, so I should have been profiting as well too. The homeowner is asking for damages in the excess of thirty five thousand dollars. Now, Cardi you made, B, you made the deal. You can't come back on a deal now and say, oh, you made money. No, this is the deal that you made. 
Well, Cardi B came out in her own defense and she had a lot to say. Let's take a listen. She was on Twitter Spaces. The day that I shot that like what video, we was trying to look for a house. I said, hit up his realtor. It was like, you know, they got a house, the 10,000. We couldn't even go inside the house without putting down the payment. So we paid them $10,000, right? We were shooting in there all day. It was like Cinderella. As soon as 6 a.m. hit, the owners were like, oh, 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 overtime, overtime, overtime. Damn hungry. Like, is that? <laughs> we kept telling them like, yo, we're going to pay. Like, y'all can see in March, we ended up paying them why is it that after the music video came out y'all want to act like it was it was for a tiktok how you how you gonna say it was from a tiktok but y'all greedy hungry ass your mother ugly ass house and now y'all trying to finesse we paid y'all the amount that y'all asked for just give me my money you ain't getting shit. i hope it's one person money. i hope it's one person cardi never pays who a publicist she don't need one <laughs> all narratives will be cleared up by Barty herself she's Yo. a walking press release mm -hmm. dropping a clues bomb for cardi b can you do yeah. the Wendy story real quick? Yes, I can. Please. So, Wendy Williams is also in in uh, the lawsuit conversation. She, Wendy Williams, it's not, it's her uh, guardian. Wendy Williams' guardian is suing um, Annie Networks and um, Annie Networks and Lifetime and the producer. His name is Mark Ford, the the executive producer of that last Wendy Williams doc that we got, where it's like, where is Wendy Williams? Yep. Um, so basically, what's happening is her guardian is saying that. All of these people made millions of dollars, and Wendy Williams only made eighty-two thousand dollars off of this documentary. Um, in the complaint, they're saying that they that these people profited profited immensely from the, their exploit exploitation of Wendy, and this is money. The, the profits that she didn't receive is money that she could have used towards her medical care, the supervision of her life, and just different things that she has going on right now. So they're going back and saying, y'all need to run us some more money because yeah, this but was they not negotiated fair. It. Again, they negotiated it, and her whole family's part of that doc, so it's not like they could say, well, this team did it or that team did it. Yeah. The whole family was part of that document. The, the reason I wanted Lauren to report that story because I thought about Wendy so much yesterday. Everybody did. The and, whole and, world did. And that's what I was saying. That story came out and then some old picture of me and Wendy started going viral. I seen that picture. Yeah. And then everybody was talking about her. And I was like, damn, man. I worked with Wendy for a few years. And a lot of things that we've seen over the past, you know, several years. I heard all of these stories about all these people on air and off air. The off air ones was even better. And it just had me thinking, well, what did Wendy lie about? Because <laughs> there was so many things she told me about people that have come to pass. She told you about the thousand bottles? She really was a one-on-one, okay, because she would get actual information. And there is so many things she didn't report. I watched her say, you know, like things would come through and she'd be like, I don't believe that, I don't believe that, I don't believe that. But the things she did believe and reported, boy, those things have come true. They even were creating. I mean, I could write a list some, right now. Some of the blogs were even creating. I forget which blog I saw this on. Um, what would Wendy Williams have said yesterday when when uh, all the Diddy stuff was happening? And Wendy they had the. Said, what is happening Bad here right now? Boy. Is, I feel like I'm gonna be indicted. I can't get away. Come out as gay. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> All right. The people's choice is up next. Don't Allegedly. go anywhere. That's what Wendy would have said. Allegedly. Allegedly. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.